Alrighty, what up guys? It's your girl Madamix and I am back with more Grim. If you enjoy this reaction series, you guys are also gonna subscribe. I'm here, you're here, let's be here together. Down below description subscribe to my Patreon, patreon.com for says Madamix over there, fully in version, actually switch it to the sector next series. And also for my job, teach that series, my all type of things, for inside some so you can support my channel, those who have got Patreon and got my merch shop. You can support my channel, support free channel, how you may have subscribed. Why? Beyond is free. It costs zero dollars, it's got your button, the location, but you notify my videos for free. And also the gaming channel, which I'm going through God of War 2 for the very first time, interested in Slim Yaman Gaming. And listen, so Sean's out here tripping, dipping, and flipping, if you will. Um, he's seeing Meisner everywhere. And I I have a feeling it's just because of his regret in killing Meisner, because Meisner was his pal from seasons one through four. And then in season five, he had to flip, dip, trip because he wanted to work with Black Claw and Meisner was against Black Claw. So now it's, it's, it's hitting him in the feels and his, his conscious some type of way. So he's manifesting this man. Because at first I was like, I know this man is dead. So you're trying to tell me he came back to life? Or are you trying to tell me that he's not really dead at all? I just, but Meisner himself confirmed that he is dead. All right, plus. Um, and Sean is getting to see uh, Diana in all her powerful glory, you know, because she don't care. She don't play. She going to use it. <sighs> So she's going to use her power to use her power and her power is being used. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we have Diana, uh, Kelly, and Adeline moving back in with Nick. We have Rosalie pregnant with the, she said, well, according to Diana, more than one babe. And Rosalie is just really worried about the future of the place she's living at and, and her future and her kids' future. She's just worried in, in general, which I... Which comes with being pregnant because you start worrying about shit just out of your control. Um, we also have my baby girl, Babisha. I don't even know what to call her now. She's like a cross between Juliet and Babisha. Like, I don't know what to call her, but she is feeling some type of way about being healed by the stick of truth because the stick of truth changed something in her. It changed her soul or something. And so her powers are all over the place. Like her mind is all over the place. And so she decided to go sit back in that tunnel. First, she wanted to go slide up in the, into Nick's situation. And then Adeline and the kids were there. And she's like, I'm gonna sit my ass in this tunnel. And while she's sitting her ass in this tunnel, she decided to go touch the stick. And I think because Nick carried that stick with him through that entire fight, that stick is attuned to him. So she picked it up and the stick was like, bitch, you not Nick, put me down. And threw her against the wall and made her flinch a bit with her power. So now she is just like down here scribbling on this wall, scribbling what was on the piece of paper. And I want to know what that means. And I hope they figure it out before the show ends. So on that note, let's go into episode five, season six of Grimm, The Seven Year Itch. And it's warm in here too. Are you finna move? Cause I don't like it. Mm-mm. Feed me Seymour? Audrey too? No? What the shit? A locust? Jeepers Creepers? <laughs> Not slurping. Uh-uh, that's why you don't do that. Does, no Does nobody care where you are? That boy is literally like eight right now. <laughs> is Bobisha gonna come up from the from the thing? That's the worst place to set a glass. You have a whole ass counter over there. No, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Huh? Uh-uh. All right, Helen. There's a weird guy. Let me call you back. There's a weird guy, let me call you back? No. Hungry. You want a Snickers? Look. A Snickers? <laughs> Not a red pain. Through the throat meat? Are you a locust? And drifted off into whatever awaits me. I think we have some real issues to work through. I'm tired. I feel like his accent is missing, but it's okay. You take the bedroom. I'm just gonna follow you. <sighs> Do 
You're not clean. There was no soap involved. You're gonna have twins. It's just twins. Well, maybe not. Girl! This is a surprise. There is a third heartbeat. I would unsubscribe. Three. Bitch, are you done counting? Dealt with, uh... What? Never mind. Bruh, just say it. Never mind. Bruh, just say it. Hey, call me later. Just say it. Just say it. Just say it. I'm asking the questions. Diana could probably turn into Grace and figure it out for you. Definitely been down there a while. I got many roots, I'd say at least a couple years. Evidence of clothing pretty rotted. Y'all using a big ass paintbrush? Pieces of that clothing on the corpse look a lot like the ones stuffed in the bushes. That's exactly what I was thinking. So Did he go down there with a snack? He's really like a locust, huh? Or a cicada. Cicada? C cicada? Is that what it's called? I'm so glad this world makes sense. <laughs> Is that a lady? Rare. When was the last time you ate? A very long time ago. Nice. Looks like someone gnawed on it. They're all like that. Every bone in her body. He literally took her down there for a snack while he while he was hiding. Girl, the way I be looking in the wall, she doesn't feel good. Girl. Honey, I'm gonna go down there. If Kelly makes any noises, you just let me know, okay? Okay. Girl, she said, eat that bitch is in the wall, ma. She down there sick and shit. You should bring a bottle of water. Is she gonna live in my bed now? No, sweetie, she's just resting. Is she gonna die? Can she go get Meisner? Did I order that? From the gentleman down the bar. It's like, I need a big bitch. I need a big bitch. I mean, I'm not, I would, I mean, you could attempt to. I do. Find right out where my drink is. Oh! Look, I didn't call for you. I don't know what you think you're doing, but I'm going outside for a smoke. Where if you have the nerve to show your ass, I'm going to kick it from here to Houston. Otherwise, you better be gone. You got me? Oh, not him. Not him upset over his thick. What? You better stay up. He's like, I'm gonna go right over there. Hey. <sighs> Thank you for the drink, but I think you should probably get out of here. I don't think he was too happy about you buying me a drink. <laughs> Are you? Makes you feel good. Thank you. Girl. I did just meet him. <laughs> And it shouldn't be too hard to forget him. Bartender! Round of drinks for everyone who thinks it's a great night to be alive! Yeah. Let's turn this music up too. Get the party started, huh? Yeah. She's like, this is my dream. Girl, you better stop. He gonna take your drunk ass down there and treat you like a whole chicken. He gonna treat you like a whole ass chicken. We just got here. Who paying for these drinks? Are they gonna catch him? In 1850, this was a frontier town. There were five men to every woman. <laughs> I'd be happy with one good one. <laughs> Bro, you about to be my chicken. You about to be my whole chicken. My whole world to serene, bitch. <laughs> You tell me. Oh, we gotta call Nick. Call him. <laughs> That's my favorite. Oh, we gotta call Nick. <laughs> Look, girl. The one he's gonna kill. He's like, I need a thick bitch to hold me over. You're telling me someone used a verfluctid filling schwester on you? That's not why I'm here. I... The way they can roll that off the tongue. How bad? Is that his mother's? Let's go find out if this ghost is real. This way. I would have just brought cash. 
I supposed to do? Take off your clothes and get in? Clothes? I want to find out if your haunting is real or don't you? If it's all in your head, nothing will happen. I will not begrudge this. I like seeing him. Look at those stars. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Girl, you better hope somebody catch you because he about to etch you. People just miss living. They don't appreciate what they've got. I'd be like, sir, who are you talking to? We move too fast, don't we? I want to kiss you. How does he get them in there? Does he poison them? Or like, you know, kiss and deposit the juices and then be like in the ground? I can't believe he was in the ground with his snack like that. I'm just so happy to be alive. Girl, none of this shit worries you? I immediately was like, mm -mm. how do you know where he's going to be? I think we're going to be spending a lot of time together. I hope so. Where are you about to be? Whoop, right underground. Thanks. What's a girl got to do to find the right guy in this town? Girl, you... I just wasn't ready. Get it over with. For any of this. She. But he said he's immortal, but biting off his head. Oh. Oh. Shouldn't be too long now. <laughs> There's so many, so many things I could say about this scene. Or not. the fuck is going on? Got him curled up. Fully dressed. Is this the man's store? A mind is a terrible thing to lose. What is going on? Y'all, I am thoroughly like invested. All right. I don't want to say I'm halfway through this season, but I'm very close to halfway through the season. Episode six would be halfway through the season. I'm loving every ounce of this. At least they ended on a high note. At least they ended on a high note. Cause I'm enjoying everything I've seen so far. Every single episode has been riveting. Diana has been diana -ing. She hasn't been gracing in a minute and I'm glad she's calmed down from her gracing and she's just diana -ing. However, I wanna know what's going on with Bobisha. I don't even know what to call her, but I'm gonna continue to call her Bobisha because I like the name. Um, I wanna know what's going on with Bobisha. I wanna know what's going on with Sean because he out here losing his mind. Um, and I'm wondering if eventually he's going to go to Diana or Diana's going to be like, uh, there's somebody around you that shouldn't be around you or be like, Hey, I want to see Meisner. She's able to pull that stuff out because right now Diana is clutch. You know what I'm saying? Um, but yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm enjoying every single storyline. I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at any of it. I really want to know what the symbols on the wall mean, the symbols on the cloth and what the stick of truth means. <sighs> like what, what's going on? I'm excited. So on that note, guys, thanks for hanging with me. And hopefully I will catch you in the next one. Bye. Okay, that concludes the Grim Marathon today.